Hi, Brandon Lewis here from Embedded Computing Design, and we are at Sensors Expo 2018, but that's actually not the reason we're shooting video today. The reason is that we have here with us Allison Cliff Jennings, who is the CEO of blockchain company Filament, and also one of the 2018 top embedded innovators for her contributions to technology, some philanthropic work you've done, contributions to education in the STEM field. So, how are you doing today? Welcome. Very well, thank you for having me. Sure thing, and congratulations. It was a tough field this year, and uh, cream rises the crop, as they say. <laughs> well, I very much appreciate it. Thank yeah. you so much for, uh, for the consideration, and it's an honor to be a part of it. Excellent. So, I wanted to um, talk to you a little bit more about blockchain, um, what it is for those of us who don't know yet. In the embedded and IoT space, this is a very new type of technology. Um, but I think it has a lot of merit, and it will going forward. So. What can you tell us about blockchain, where it is today, and, and what your sort of vision for, is for it moving forward? Absolutely, yes. I mean, the blockchain as a technology is really new, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, we're talking less than one decade old. Mm -hmm. And in the grand scheme of things, that's pretty short, even within technology. Right. 2009 is when it was invented. Um, so we're almost there. Um, it has a ton of hype around it, which can be a problem because, you know, people think it can solve every problem, and it right. cannot. It's mm -hmm. good at a few things, it's really good at a few things, and it's not so good at most things. Okay. Um, but fundamentally, if we start to look at it objectively, it's actually, it solves some fundamental computer science problems we've had for 50, 60 years in distributed systems. Mm -hmm. um, establishing trust in trust poor environments, um, establishing some sense of commonality, even some synchronization aspects that is very difficult, mm -hmm. um, has been problems for a long time. And so because we can now use that, we can start to leverage it within a lot of the areas in which we've had to solve that problem with different tools before. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited to have to be in this space right now because it's a lot of opportunity ahead of us. Excellent. So in terms of an industrial IoT implementation or deployment, um, how have you seen it, the blockchain being used or how do you envision that it's going to be used and what are the types of applications that you think it's most applicable in? Yeah, so it's interesting because the IoT and blockchain um, marriage, so to say, is a very powerful one because mm -hmm. um, connected devices often have this issue around trust and, and really what a blockchain offers is trust mm -hmm. in, in trust poor environments. And mm -hmm. so it's very trust specified, which is very important for IoT space today. Right. So within the industrial space, we see very strong needs for um, this concept of attestation, mm -hmm. uh, proving that a piece of data came from a particular device and happened at a particular time. Right. So, you know, cryptographic keys and PKI does the, who is this? Can I prove it came from this person via signatures? But, um, but the blockchain allows us to actually prove within time, within a ledger, immutably, mm. when it happens. So you get these two benefits now, which becomes very important when you need to prove contractually that something happened, did or did not. Um, you know, prove that you were regulated correctly, that you weren't polluting the industry or mm. the, the atmosphere um, un, unappro inappropriately, in other words. So, um, so I see those starting to play very significantly in that space. Very good. Um, so, you know, we talked about a little bit of um, back at the beginning how it can't solve everything. And, right, and you yeah. know, if, if everybody knows the Gartner hype cycle, right? You're, <laughs> we're, we're at the top right yes, now. Yes, <laughs> we're at the top. Um, but what do you think is necessary to um, have blockchain evolve uh, moving forward? Is it more industry education? Are, are there technical hurdles? You know, yeah. if, if you're trying to design blockchain into a, an industrial IoT system, for example, uh, are there other extra provisions that you need to consider? Yeah, I mean, we're still, what we uh, we consider this, we're still in the dial-up era of blockchain today, which mm -hmm. means we have a lot of work to do as, a, as an industry, as a, as a society, um, uh, to, f to solve some of these fundamental problems. One of the biggest is scalability. That's mm -hmm. always been a problem from the beginning. Distributed systems generally don't run as optimally as centralized systems right. by nature of the synchronization and the consensus aspects. Mm -hmm. Getting everyone to agree requires a com communications overhead. Mm -hmm. um, so scalability is one of the biggest challenges. Education al also is. You know, We find most of our work as a company is um, educating everyone from sea level down to operators. Mm -hmm. What is this? What isn't it? It is not a database. <laughs> it, it can act in concert with a database. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very simple concepts like this. And so the, luckily, the education piece is starting to take. Like People are mostly getting it these days. It's becoming you know, entire tracks at, at conferences such as this one. Mm -hmm. um, that's important. And I think that that will become um, a key uh, a requirement for us to then start to deploy this in production. Very good. Yeah. So what's next for filament? 
Oh, good question. We have so much work ahead of us. You know, we've had to choose a couple of industries to focus on because there's so much opportunity, and we're right. a small startup still, right? And so focus is everything. Um, so for us, we're very focused now uh, in the space of mobility. You know, anything with wheels, mm -hmm. uh, vehicles, transportation, etc. That also bleeds into supply chain. Also bleeds into energy because of electrification of vehicles. So right. we have our work cut out for us. But um, we're very excited for 18 and, and onward because. I do believe that we are right on the cusp of moving to these, these systems into production, which okay. is, everybody wants to do that right now, and we're mm -hmm. still just right at the early stages. And so, filament has a lot of work for us, you know, but we plan to, um, to you know, use the term loosely blockchainify a lot of the industrial equipment out there and vehicles and things like that because when they have roots of trust, we can now do lots of very interesting economic things with these vehicles and these right. machines that used to just be connected in nature, now they can be economic in nature as well. That's excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Allison. Uh, it was a pleasure uh, doing this interview and getting to meet you in person. Um, this is Allison Cliff Jennings, one of the 2018 top embedded innovators from Embedded Computing Design. She is the CEO of Filament. I'm Brandon Lewis, editor in chief of Embedded Computing Design. Thanks for watching.